Rob McClure is one of Broadway's favorite leading men. He's fresh off his latest Tony nomination for playing the title role in Mrs. Doubtfire the Musical. And he's suddenly Seymour in the hilarious off-Broadway production of Little Shop of Horrors. We had a chance to talk. All right, how did this happen? Let's go. I feel like, I feel oh my like gosh. It's, it's been a minute. Yeah. Um, so Mrs. Doubtfire finished up and I was ready to plan a summer vacations with my wife and Relax. my daughter. Relax. <laughs> Stop changing my clothes every two yes. seconds. Right. And then uh, and then I got a call. I got a call that Skylar Aston is finishing up here and would I like to come in and play Seymour. And I mean, who doesn't? And right. also it's like things like this when you go into a small theater. I mean, this is less than 300 seats and tell a, a, a small story in a small space, but something that's like over the top and so much fun and has this incredible cult following. It's just, it's soul food. Oh, that's such a good way to say it, right? Yeah, it yeah, really yeah. does have a cult following. There's I mean, there's some, there's a lot of things recently, a lot of shows. Mrs. Doubtfire, I yeah, think, you yeah, know, yeah, they yeah. Have, at least the 80s people, you know, for sure, I, I remember. For sure, yeah. Um, but it does have a cult following, so what do you feel when, when people come out of here? I saw the show last week. To see something, you know, that feels almost the scale. You know, that's what Howard Ashman, it, it, Howard Ashman built this show to be seen in places like this. I mean, okay. this is where this show is meant to be. This is where this show thrives. And um, so in a weird way, it feels very much like the atmosphere that people might have seen Little Shop at their high school or at a community theater right. or wherever they were sort of introduced to the show, except every single person in the building is firing on all cylinders and is at the height of their game wow. in a tiny little room. Right, right, so right, the right. energy is out of control. Um, the puppeteers are extraordinary. It's such a difference when you've got a real puppeteer in there. Now, have you ever done anything with puppeteers before? Or I have, I have okay. a huge, I did Avenue Q for three years. Okay, I'm okay. A, I've been obsessed with puppets my whole life. As I said, I've, I've been obsessed with puppets my whole life. Hashtag nerd cred. No, I have. I've, I I've, love the glasses. I, I know, I just right? had my fitting, my Seymour Crowborn really glasses. Good. How do they feel? On, as I put them on, my shoulders <laughs> have gone down instead of up. Um, yeah, no, I mean, costumes obviously always help. Yeah. But yeah, I've been obsessed with puppets my whole life and the history of puppetry with this show and the film. Right. I mean, and do you know, this is so fun. Wait, fun, fun, fun trivia. Give it to me. In the movie, that plant had so many different little like servos in its mouth to make all those mouth right. shapes that they couldn't do it in real time. I so anytime the plant was talking, it was at quarter speed. They would do playback at quarter speed and he would lip sync at quarter speed and then they'd speed it up. Which means that any of those two shots right. of Rick Moranis right. and the plant going like, if you want a rationale, Seymour is doing that. Rick Moranis is acting in quarter speed. So he's oh actually gosh. going, if you want, so that they could puppeteer the plant and wow. have it articulate as much as they wanted and then they sped it up and Did post. you just learn that? No. Oh, <laughs> you've known about that? <laughs> Yes, it is. There is that a real is a nerd real playing nerd. Seymour, right? <laughs> that is a nerd moment. <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah. Wow. So, You're going to excel. Typecasting. I can feel it. Typecasting. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. kind of cool. I have to rewatch that I love that, that stuff. I mean, I, I really, and these puppeteers, yeah. it's wild to have a scene partner in a plant. Yeah. And, and legitimately. Yeah, how does that you work? You know what I mean? I, because the plant is, it, it's being puppeteered so beautifully. Sure that it's giving me just as much as a scene partner would. Really? So I'm able, yeah, oh yeah. So I'm able to react in real time to things that the plant is communicating to me because mm -hmm. it's being puppeteered so beautifully. This is a time that we need that more than yeah, anything else. Yeah. I mean, comedies are always fun and yeah. being able to have entertainment is always fun. But this yeah, is and if you need. had told me three weeks ago, right. when I was doing my 31st quick change into an elderly Scottish woman, that my next job would be a more absurd story, <laughs> I would not have believed you. <laughs>